Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In yesterday's video we spent the entire time in the Dalish camp talking to people, exploring, receiving a ton of codex entries which were interesting to read. Today we're going to continue exploring the camp and hopefully we will have enough time to make some sort of entrance into the Brazilian forest. But let's just talk to the people who are here right now. The Hala are our guides. If they accept you, Perhaps that is a sign that we should as well. Okay. Hello, Genna. I'm Darren Atitian, outsider. Who are you? I am Gena. Is there something you need from me? Can you answer some questions? I am not sure what I can tell you, but I shall try. Well, I wanted to know... More about your people, I guess? You should speak to Lanaya. She's the Keeper's first and knows much of such questions. Okay, can you tell me about the forest? You would be best to speak to Seirel. He is our storyteller and knows far more of such tales. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Zathrian? Zathrian? He has been our Keeper since long before my parents' parents were born. What could you wish to know about him? Well, why didn't he know the werewolves would attack? That's a good question. The Keeper is not a fortune teller. He could not have known any more than the rest of us. Just how old is he exactly? I don't know. Very old. It is said that Zathrian may be one of the first to become as our ancestors were long ago. Immortal. Hmm. But how could that be in... Why him and not everyone else? We... we all live longer than the Flat Ears, the elves who live with humans. The Keepers even more so because of their knowledge of the old ways. Why Zathrian differs from the others, I do not know. Perhaps he has been blessed by the creators. <laughs> don't believe in these gods, do you? That's... that's not insult someone's religion. What is a Keeper exactly? He keeps us safe. And he keeps the knowledge of our people safe, so we may bring it to all of our people one day. Well, what is this knowledge? What knowledge is that exactly? The ways of our ancestors, of course, from the time of our Lathan, before the human empire enslaved our people. And where does he get this knowledge? From the other clans, and from the artifacts we uncover in our travels. Everywhere the old empire was, so went their slaves. Pieces of our past lie everywhere. Huh. What do you mean, bring it to all of your people? To the Flat Ears, those who live with the humans. When we have a new homeland to settle in, we shall teach all elves the ways they have forgotten. Maybe you guys should write this stuff down and not just do oral history. Yes. Mm, something what is else? that? Um, I should go. Well, I need some equipment. Master Verathorn should have okay. what you need. Seek him out at the forge. All right, just what I thought. I'll go. Then may the creators bring you fortune. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I get the tradition of oral history, but... You write stuff down. Ben Harrell. Harrell the Dread Wolf. Too fast. But yeah, there is the Codex entries. These are their elven gods that they're talking about. I don't know how many there are. Oh, that's the entrance to the Brazilian forest. We will come back there. But there was, it seems very similar to like a god represents certain things. And it was a, uh, it was interesting to read. Elf nurse, hunter. The Hala are our guides. If they accept you, perhaps it is a sign that we should too. Oh, so the Hala, I saved a Hala and now we're friends. Alora says you have a way with the Hala that she has not seen before. That is a remarkable gift, don't you think? I guess. Alora says you have a way with the Hala okay. that she has not seen before. That is a remarkable gift. Your face is really round, and your ears are so tiny. Yeah, I got tiny ears. What am I gonna do about that? Oh, let's talk. Let's do some talky talky with Cyril first, and then we'll work on Kamen's quest, maybe. I hear you had a hand in saving the Hala, Maserinas. I'm not sure what we would do without them. Well, 
What can you tell about the forest that I'm about to enter? I know a few tales. Our clan has passed this way many times before, even when the Shemlin lived in these parts. You wish? I can tell you what I know. It is not a long story. Yes, please tell me of the forest. Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. And? So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. So does this Witherfang still exist today? So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. So are there many spirits in the forest? The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. So there were a lot of battles in the forest. Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here, in slavery? Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. So do you know how many werewolves there are? No one knows. When the Shemlin lived in these parts, the curse would spread anew to a few of them with each passing year. They would run off into the forest, never to be seen again. Eventually, all the Shemlin left. One assumes the werewolves survive by passing their curse to their offspring. They have had no new blood. Until now, that is. So have the... I'm assuming their hunters. Have your hunters become werewolves? It is said that one or two have turned already, though the Keeper denies it. As for the rest, they will either die or turn, unless they are killed out of mercy. I would rather die than become a ravening soulless beast, wouldn't you? Well... One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. Hmm. Okay. I hear you had a hand in saving yeah, yeah, the Hala. Yeah. Maserinas. I'm not sure what we would do without them. What? What do you know about werewolves? We know only what Zathrian has told us over the years. I never saw one myself until the attack. Well, if they are so mindless, how did they ambush you? Some of us have wondered. The Keeper says they are simply cunning, that any beast can lie in wait. But this seemed more than that. It was planned. These are no simple beasts. Then the real question is why the Keeper would insist that it is not so. Why would he lie? I do not believe he would. But even the wisest of men do not always see the truth in front of them. Nor do they always wish to. Hmm. How does one fight a werewolf? The hunters say they have strength and speed far beyond what's ordinary, and are as tough as such beasts come. Like wolves, they hunt in packs so as to combine their strength. But in the end, a blade kills them as surely as it does any other. What you need to fear is their bite. If you're infected, you are done. Though not right away, and not all at once. Hmm. Do they have any strange abilities? As you know, they can shapeshift into wolves, allowing them to hide amidst the true wolves. Okay. Is there a way to prevent 
uh, being afflicted by their curse. Other than not to get bitten? Not that I know of. <laughs> Don't get bit, basically. Okay, so I think that's enough for now. Of course. You wish something else? Nope. Darth Shirol. There, I, so I saved Ahala, and I guess they don't hate me anymore. But let's talk to Kamen. Uh, hello? Uh, why are you... <laughs> There's no need to be afraid of me. He's kind of de delicate looking, I guess, or delicate... In, um, anyway, I'm, I'm not using words correctly today. Hello yourself, who are you? I'm Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. It's like, a, can I become a real boy? Oh, I'm already picking on him. Why can't you become a hunter? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. Uh, try me, I might surprise you. I suppose suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. Well, there... Must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Why not go into the forest anyway? But the keeper said, no, I just can't. What if I encountered a werewolf? I couldn't defeat one of those on my own. Mm, why don't you come with me then? The keeper would know right away if I left camp. Masiranis for the offer, however. That's very kind of you. Okay. Have you tried wooing, Gaina? Wooing? I don't understand. Oh, dear. Romance! Show her you love her! I've serenaded her, and we've talked many times under the moon. But that doesn't matter if I'm still an apprentice. Not to her. Why do you like this girl? <laughs> <laughs> Suppose it'd be too much to ask if you bedded her. <laughs> oh, that's that's. <laughs> then why do you bother if if she doesn't want to be with you? Why bother? Because I love her. I really do. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Well, let me think of something else then. Such as? I don't know. Perhaps I could talk to Gaina for you. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. I can be pretty persuasive. Really? I, I, I'm willing to try anything. Okay, I'll go talk to her now, I guess. Siranas, oh ma Siranas, I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. Do you guys have a goddess of love? I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, Kamen's lament. Kamen is in love with Gaina, but she won't agree to a bonding with she won't agree to a bonding until Kamen has completed his hunt. He told Kamen you'd try to change Gaina's mind. So have you spoken to Gaina? Oh no, not yet. Ah. Let me go talk to her. I just feel like do you really want a girl who only wants to be with you if you're of hunter status? Seems kind of lame, but whatever. Greetings once again. So, Kamen told me all about you. You spoke to him? What did he say? <laughs> You're cruel and then he hates you? I guess you could. Oh, well, I guess you could break him up. 
He said that if he was lucky, he would bed you soon. <laughs> he says that you refuse to give him your hand. Let's try to get them together, I guess. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? Why not? Uh, if you love him, it doesn't matter what he does, what he is, does it? But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? Why are you asking me that you're out of luck, aren't you? Well, again, if you love him, then believe in him and help him succeed. Don't just make him do all the work. Oh, you are right. I have made poor Kamen miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gaina? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable and I should not have. But what about my hunt? I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. Does anyone else feel the urge to vomit? <laughs> no? Tis just me? Here, <laughs> take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. It's the very least we could do. <laughs> no, wow, Morgan. Well, Morgan's not big on the L word, so... Yeah, Morgan, it's a little vomit-inducing. It's okay, though. So, quest completed. You brought Cam and Gaina together, and they seemed very happy. And I received... A bow, maybe? Or arrows? I don't know. But, there we go. Do I still get to talk to them? I wonder if I still... No, I don't see them anywhere. Oh, they just they just vanished into thin air. And I thought I clicked on... Gil... Gil... Na, 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 na. I'm, I'm horrible Let's with get these. Started. I did. Just... Strange. It's broke. Okay, well, I think we have done everything that we can do here. And are ready to go to the Brazilian forest. Let's double check. Yep, all the quest lines are gone. So let's do that. Okay, I did level up and I got another achievement called Shield Master. I don't know what that means, but uh, that's what just happened. As you wish. I have to look up these achievements. I, I really should. <laughs> okay, West Brazilian Forest is unlocked. Let's see, we have a. Signs of safe passage, fallen tree, signs of safe passage. I feel like that's, yeah, that's the favors for interested ah, parties. more forests. And here I thought I had left the wilds behind for good. I mean, Morgan, I, I thought you'd enjoy it, Morgan, but apparently I was inaccurate in the statement. I mean, I wanted to spend time with my lady love, and I... Oh, wow, what is all that? Animals, critters... Goodness gracious, that's a lot of... Oh, there's werewolves. Let's get started. Well, Morgan, don't be aggressive. Oh my goodness, that's... That is a... Definitely a werewolf. Okay, so let's try doing more crap. And I at least stunned them. And then let's shatter that wolf. And... Did 
try my new spell ability I just got. Nope, nope, six. Or not. <laughs> try that again. Now we'll try, it's called Overpower. Ooh, that's gonna be good for mages. Huh. Well, just killed some werewolves. And they have nothing to loot, unfortunately, but I'll get a death root. No, nope, now we have something to loot. A polite wolf. Huh. So firing point. This must be where I fire. So the quest was I go to the location of the Brazilian forest and use a bow to fire a message arrow across the treetops. Well, let's save. I don't know what's going to happen. This is the spot where D's message where D's message needs to be sent. Uh, leave until you have a bow equipped and ready. Oh, dang. Um, I have a bow. Let's uh, put that on real fast. Try that again. Fire an arrow over the trees. Message has been sent. It has not gone unnoticed. Continue. Right. You've made some important enemies with your little arrows. <laughs> You're through. I like this armor. That's nice armor. Now let me get my starfang back on and my shield back on. And Denerim Mercenary. On it. Let's see, does Warcry bounce you guys back? It does. Okay. And okay, let's kill the lead guy first. Since I've got Zevron and um Wipe them out! And Morgan with me. Good, I got a shatter. Let me see, can I stun this guy? Good. Severon does a lot of damage against Stunned. I think he does. Oh, Folded Missive. By order of Emmer Thorogood. By order of Emmer Thorogood. Quest updated. It appears the messenger was not expected to survive the message, but you defeated the ambush and these associates know it is safe to move. Return to the Nod Noble in Denerim for your reward. Um, by order of Emmer Thorogood, we know they are out there and they will move when their fellow vermin call them out. Watch for the sign and slaughter the lot. They will know it is coming and probably abandon the poor sap of a messenger. But even in that, our message will be sent with an authority theirs cannot have by orders of Emmer. Who's Emmer Thorogood? This should be easy enough. Wow. He did not. I thought for a second that corner of my eye, I thought it was like 20 goals. And that's not true. There is a skeleton down here. This should be easy enough. Okay. Hmm. Well, let me pick these flowers. As you wish. And then let's see. Um, well, I, I'll just wander around. <laughs> I'll just wander around for a while. Doesn't seem to be anything over there or over here. Andraste's Grace. Look, another flower for Liliana. Save. Oh. Oh, look. Swift Runner, Werewolf, Werewolf. Huh. The Watch Wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> the Dalish and the human of all things to repay us for our attack, to put us in our place. What bitter irony. Um... You speak, I thought the werewolves were supposed to be savage beasts. We are beasts. 
but we are no longer simple and mindless. Let that thought chill your spine. You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. Oh. Hmm. So, let's see. You're the werewolf to image the Dalish. You sound as though you hate them. Well, let me see if we can just... I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be one of the situations like at the mage tower where I pick mages or werewolves. Um, so let's try not to make them mad. Maybe I can make nicey nice between the two? Maybe? So I would prefer to talk to you. I don't mean you any harm. Was it not Zafrian who sent you? <sighs> he wishes only our destruction. Never to talk. Talk as if you know him. You attacked his clan. Can we resolve it peacefully? Well, you you talk about Zathrian as if you know him. <sighs> we have never met he and I. He would not survive the experience. I swear it. Hmm. Why exactly, though? Why do you hate him so much? You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done talking. Mm -hmm. Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish and tell them they are doomed. Out of my way. Yeah, I, I don't want to fight you guys since you're not mindless beasts, but I can't retreat either. I do not wish to fight you either, but we cannot trust you. Come, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. let us retreat. The forest has eyes of its own, and it will deal with intruders as it always has. Mm -hmm. So much for being mindless beasts, huh, Zathrian? Well, before I go the way that they ran off to, let's go back this way some. I, I, I think it's going to be one of those situations where I have to pick either... As you say. Um, <laughs> she, she just... Hang on. Yes? Hello. What would you like? Oh, she didn't giggle at me. She did giggle at me. Uh, but yeah, I wonder if this is going to be one of those situations where I have to pick a side. Which kind of sucks, but... Werewolves, though, that'd right. be kind of cool, right? To having your army? Although, let's try not to pick the evil side. <laughs> okay. Go down there, but let's go up here first. Uh, corpse is over here. Um, did I run right past it? Yeah. Where's the bridge? I ran right past it. Oh, oh, I. There's a bear. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Is that a Templar corpse? What is a Templar doing out in the forest? I mean, are you trying to hunt mages out here? Not the brightest of bulbs, are you guys? I swear. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I need more information before I decide, but I have a feeling it's Templar or Templars of elves or werewolves, but that'd be kind of cool. Werewolves to fight against the undead? Or not undead, but I mean it. Against zombies. Let's get started. Darkspawn. Oh my goodness, I'm getting all of my science fiction stuff confused. Oh. Uh, where am I at? All right, am I back at the beginning already? Yep. Yes. Yes, I am. That was a... It looks so much bigger in the map than it is in real life. Okay, so there's some more werewolves, but... Let me see. 
Let me see what we can do before time ends today. Let's fight these guys and then maybe we'll call it for today. Okay, so werewolves, werewolves, there's a yellow werewolf. Let's get you all picked up. And then why don't I stun a lot of you? And then I will attack the yellow. Morgan! I swear. Add some shatter. And only one I still remember my first battle. All right. Well, I'm going to loot and this is where we're going to stop for today. I've got this section left to still explore. I don't know what we're going to encounter when it comes to these werewolves, but we'll see. Thank you again, as always, so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age Origins video.